All right, we're going to talk about filtering tonight, and I hope this is helpful to you guys. One of the big things, I, I started my uh, scripting language in PowerShell, and the term they'll always use is filter to the left. As much as you can get rid of the data, think of this, the whole concept of Splunk and PowerShell and a lot of these programming languages is they call it piping. And the principle is you have a giant water pipe, water, uh, a lot of uh, capacity and you continue to shrink that pipe down and down until it finally reaches its final destination and that final destination is the information you want so uh, one of the things you want to do is filter as far up the pipeline as possible so that you're, you're each time you manipulate the data you're working with less and less data which will make your results faster so very simple um, filtering you, we can do there are many different ways um, like, let's, so you could do something like this, and I want to go, I just want to make sure, just the fact that I wrote index equals lame training. That's my very first pipe there, I mean my very first filter. I could have used any of the indexes. I could do and index equals, sorry, or, you can't have it be in both, index equals, um, we could have it in underscore metrics we could be we could just keep adding on these metrics and so each one of these i'm going to search more data when i get more specific or heaven forbid we write index equals star that means give me the entire pipeline give me everything in that pipe so that's that's a way of filtering we can also do source type equals well i can write lame Con. So instead of coming back with lame DNS and lame HTTP, it's only going to come back with the lame com files. That's another means of filtering. I can also do something like this, source IP equals 10.0.0.1. That's another form of filtering to the left. And so when we're done, we're only going to grab the fields that are, so if I go grab, even if I go and look, all time, which is not a great way of doing things. I'm only looking for, even though I'm looking all time, it's gotta be in this index, it's gotta be in the source type, and it's gotta be this source IP. So that's another means of doing it. Um, and the last thing I wanna point out is, always remember that you can use things such as ands and ors. Uh, ands and ors will allow you to, for example, I can do source IP is 10.0.1 and dest IP equals 10.0.0.18. I use that because I know this field here. That means I'm going to get back a smaller subset. I'm only going to get the communication between those two machines, much smaller. Um, whereas, but just so you're aware, and is explicit. Yeah, in this, um, implicit, sorry. And that means even though I didn't write and here, it's implied. And so in reality, the script that's being sent to Splunk reads like that. The only way you have to specifically call out is or. Now, I just want to point something out. This isn't going to work. You need to be careful with the way or works. Or, when you read this, you're going to think it's going to be index equals lame training and com log, and the source IP is either 10.1 or 10.18. But the way it really reads is put your parentheses in on both sides, and the log actually reads like this. So it's got to be index equals lame training, source IP equals lame con, source IP equals 10.1, or, and if you don't call it an index, guess what it's going to say? Index equals star. Source type. And so I could actually get back any index, this IP, at desk IP is this, and I could get back a 10018 from my lame HTTP log or my lame DNS log or any other source type. And so be careful when you use ORs that you recognize that you don't, you want to be careful how you put them. What you're, what they really meant to do was this. This reads the way you would, we meant it to read, which is, hey, index equals lame training, source type equals lame con, and the source IP is this or this. And that will give you the results that you're actually looking for. 
And so now I have anything with destination IP or source IP differently. Anyway, so that is the basic premise behind filtering. I hope that helps. I hope this helps you in your journey from moving from a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.